Welcome to my channel Travelomania and today we are going to revisit the top 17 activities that I have done so far. So stay tuned till the last because the best is yet to come. Actually it's a city of beautiful balloons. It's so surreal. You can just see and have a look. Hundreds and hundreds of myriad colors. It's actually a kaleidoscope. And as the sun breaks, dawn and the ignition takes place in those balloons. Yellow, red, blue. It's actually a palette that a painter would love to paint any day. And I think that's our balloon, atmosphereballoons.com, which is getting inflated now. And I'm off to take the balloon ride. The gunshots are music. You heard it right. They sound music to my ears. And don't be scared. You can also fire some M16s and AKs in Kuchi Tunnel, Vietnam. And if you missed it, you can click the card just above to find the entire video. This is the popular Bali swings and the adrenaline rush coupled with the views of rice terraces and waterfalls in this place which is near Ubud is just awesome. So you can click on the card above to watch the entire video about Bali swings if you may wish to do so. The ATV or the all-terrain vehicle is one of my favorite drives as uh, it can traverse jungles and deserts all alike. So these are the Arabian deserts in Dubai and ATV remains to be one of my favorite be it in India, Vietnam, Dubai etc. Wherever I can lay a hand on the ATV, I definitely want to try it out. So possibly, uh, yeah, I was the only one without like a helmet per se because there were no traffic rules attached to it. And again, there is uh, this link with the card above. So how many of you know that the world's highest river rafting point is in Ladakh? So this view which I am giving it to you is the Zanaska River and we went rafting uh, there last year. So the blue and green waters confluences of Zanskar and Indus really gives you a good view and this is one of the must uh, like uh, rafting or like apart from Rishikesh this is one of the best spots to do rafting in India for sure. This is one of the adventure sports that I did around 2014. Probably, yes, this was the first adventure sport that I remember of. And this is a Biran Billing in Himachal Pradesh. So paragliding it is and Biran Billing hosted the famous World Cup for paragliding. And this has been the only one of its kind uh, in India. From the paragliding point of view, you can view the mighty Himalayas and the quaint little villages of Himachal Pradesh. So there is a card uh, with the video attached. Again, if you want to see it, just click on it to see the detailed video. I do really love the underwater vibes, although I am still quite fearful about it in some part of my mind but snorkeling is one of the safest water sports that you can enjoy so this view is of the red sea in al sukhna uh, this is the swiss province in egypt and it's a weekend getaway from cairo this is from the trip last year and this is our very own goa so this is the grand island trip where you can do 
adventure activities like water activities like snorkeling scuba etc and uh, to know the top 10 things that you can do it in goa just click on the card above Dubai is famous for dune bashing and here am I like taking a Range Rover ride in the dunes of Arabia. Yeah, so definitely if you love the bumping part and you don't have a problem, you know, with your spine, go for dune bashing and you'll definitely not regret it. Well, if you didn't see it till now, uh, there is a difference between paragliding, parasailing and yes, this is paramotoring. So this is one of the most recent uh, flying adventures that I have added to my list and this is Gurgaon. So if people are staying in NCR, then you can definitely enjoy this paramotoring as it is full safe and you can see stunning sunsets and sunrises when you go for this ride. I will upload a yeah, detailed video on the same uh, soon. So this is parasailing and I have done parasailing in a lot of places like Pattaya, Goa, El Sukhna and this is El Sukhna, the Red Sea uh, where I earlier showed you a clip of like snorkeling. Uh, the feeling you know is awesome like uh, the wind is kissing you and you're flying high and you're watching amazing views so don't miss out on any chances of parasailing that you can get If you are interested in stalactites and stalagmites formation, caving is one of the best adventure sport that you should take up. So this is one of the caves near Halong Bay, Vietnam and this was quite an airy sort of cave and it was not claustrophobic at all. Oh, now so this is different from the other cave this is a bat cave so like thousands of bats flock to the wall and it is a little dingy and definitely claustrophobic out there so apart from the light that your guide will be holding that will be a lantern sort of a thing there would be no other light and yes the bats can like hear you out ultimately they use sonar so like yeah uh, if you enjoy caving and you don't have any problem with claustrophobia uh, the bat caves are awaiting you in nepal
this is water sorbing and water sorbing is generally tried in placid waters for example like a lake sort of a thing so this is nanital in uttarakhand and it was a fun sports for me at that time i have also tried sorbing in snow possibly in gulmarg but i don't have a video of it right now but yes uh, sorbing on uh, placid waters is definitely a fun and a leisure activity Gyrocoptering it is, and in in Dubai, this is the perfect space where you can watch the Dubai Marina coastline, the Tars, the Dubai Eye, the Palm Jumeirah, Atlantis, and definitely the Burj Al Arab from a bird's eye view. So it is an MSA, but gyrocoptering is not as simple as it looks out uh, to be. Because once the pilot cuts you off the edges in showing you the right views, uh, it can twitch your stomach for sure. So definitely, if you get a chance of like you know being in the Dubai Marina, don't miss your chance of getting into a gyro and getting wonderful views. So zipping remains to be one of my favorite uh, pastime sports and uh, adventure sports I must say. So I think I had first gone zipping in a Nimrana Fort Palace. This is Lola where I have a separate like video corner for you can watch it from my card section and uh, this water zipping was special because like you know there were waterfalls all around and the view that you got from that zipping was amazing. I have uh, tried zipping in other places as well but uh, definitely this was something close to my heart. So this is the first time I literally drove a jet ski and I'll tell you one thing I just hate instructors like you know uh, sitting on the back end like you know just trying to make you drive around the jet ski. So once the jet ski is in your the keys are in your hand uh, you feel like a god I must say and this drive from like Dubai Marina to Burj not to Burj actually but near Burj uh, would be the most memorable of it types. So yes, I did try a selfie or a vidfi also uh, with the new phone and uh, that is also like in the card section if you want to see. Flyboarding, jetpacking, hoverboarding, so many names for it but alas I could not do it myself. So I tried 3-4 times in Bali and I miserably failed. So my instructor helped me uh, that day and yes we did go off a few meters above Indian Ocean to feel the gush of water beneath our foot. So given a chance I would definitely like to go over it again and do it myself. So once the swing is done, then 
then you let him you can let go of it so if you really think adventure is your cup of tea or cup of coffee never mind you should definitely try this swing so it is not the regular swing that you are thinking of it's a bungee a tandem swing and yes if this doesn't like excite you nothing will so till date this is the highest tandem swing in the world and it is just above the bhotekoshi river in nepal so it's a few kilometers from kathmandu and uh, there is this video card of it on above Yeah